Last of Vincent's Assembly on Il Clemmore Bartat. We're at the Vincent's Assembly. Is that it? I think I saw something. What's that? Ooh! Is it bronze? Yeah, it's got to be with that patina. Uh, don't know whether that's a medieval ring brooch or uh, Roman, late Roman or even early <laughs> Roman uh, if in doubt consult uh, Richard Hattat's book uh, either way I'm not grumbling at finding it it's very worn, wherever it is oh it's got a V1 there, so it's probably, is it Charles II? Sixpence. Yeah, it looks like his shield on the back. Oh, that's a good start to the day. Put that in my box and put it away. There. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I saw a glimpse. Oh, it's there. Nice, oh, it's a sixpence. Oh, no, it's not, you know. It's not, you know. Oh, squirt your bottle out. Oh, dropped it. Dropped it. Where is it? Oh, is that? In sunlight it looks silver, but trust me, it's not silver. I'm a guaranteed dais man, I've even got an XP magnifying glass, look. George the Third. And there's a few little dings on it round edge. It's not perfect by any means. Defence or Britannia or Britannia Rum eighteen or two. But don't say what value, it just just got a picture of a crown. Instantly, it went. Oh. Now that's interesting. This is interesting. That's more of that slag. Yeah, very interesting. Quite deep as well. I bet there's some more down there then. Hmm. Slag that's been scraped off the top of a, a crucible uh, in an early form of 
silver smelting or crude lead smelting. It uh, they used to uh, melt lead or gleaner to uh, well, they used to burn it first to oxidise it and get the sulphur out and then melt it in a crucible to uh, separate the lead from the silver. Because although there were only a small percentage of small percentage of silver it were uh, worth more that's it another bit of slag it were worth more than the uh, lead were We will find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's gone there. Oh. <laughs> it's the tiniest bit. Goes off. That off. I found it. <laughs> yeah, it's a fragment of a silver hammy. Oh, what's that? Just saw a glint or something. Oh, bugger, I've hit it with uh, trowel. Where is it? Bring you across. Does it end off a cane? Just caught it, look. It's only brass. Dimples like a, a thimble. The tops broke off if it ever had a top. Oh, it's a Roman. At least I think it's a Roman. A grot. Yeah, can't see much on it, but then I ain't got my glasses. There you go. Can you focus? It's not long since gone half nine. And it's getting too hot for me. I've drunk nearly half a litre of water. <laughs> and I'm going to finish this job. So I'm sat in shade, having a cool down. I'm too old and fat for this weather. Uh, but I'll... Uh, I'll have another wander. Uh, at least up to where the Gold Noble <laughs> found, if nothing else. Which is up on the ridge of the... Uh, above me. Then I'd back to the car for a, another cooling drink. Uh. Oh, I didn't have a dab camera turned on.
I bet I didn't have camera turned on. Recording. Look, I've just found a uh, James the first penny out of that hole there. It was so damn small. But I kept dropping it. Took me edge to find it. It's well clipped. Well clipped. Stuart crest on the back. Uh, the bust facing left with the one. That's a James. James Penny. So sorry for not recording that. What is it? There. Oh, shiny. A bit worn. Very worn. But who is it? William the third. Oh, George, George the third. Can't be George the third. It's facing the wrong way. It's up there somewhere. I've had a lot of these lately where there's some up there and I can't find it. Ah, but I can see it. I can see it. Gloves off. And you know it's something special when it's a gloves off. It's a tiny, tiny little Roman. I mean, look at it on my thumbnail. Oh, <laughs> if I can balance it. <laughs> look, size of it. It's minute. I mean, I've had minims before, but this is much smaller than a minim, surely. I'm not the world's best on buckles, but I'm fairly confident they're called spectacle buckles, and they're, they're reasonably early. 